Welcome to Kitty Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for your episode. So last time we were just having a little nap time here uh, below the observatory of the Dwarven Ruins. And we're, we were on our way to actually another kind of Dwarven Ruins called... <clears throat> and I, even though I promised to never do this again, I'm going to uh, try to pronounce the name. Nchuleftingf. I'm pretty sure I butchered it, given that I'm neither Dwarven nor um, the English native speaker. So... This is when kitties try to speak Dwarven. Oh, I thought he, he ran outside of my spark wind flight path. Spark window. Let's just deal with this cliff racer also before we recharge our Magicka. I need to remember to buy Magicka potions or brew them myself at some time. Which of course means I need to first gather resources without selling them immediately. On the other hand, I am selling them because I'm not doing any of that stuff. What Marmont can perfect. This is the way I want to go. Was that you? Did you make that noise? I've never heard this kind of noise being made by a cliff razor. I don't want to know what's behind that mountain, to be honest. And I am being called. Which means I'm going to real quick turn off my microphone. Okay, so that was a specialist doctor for an appointment which I was waiting for. Very, very good. Nothing to worry about, but it's important to get things regularly checked, right? Perfect. Okay, now I need to just <laughs> mentally get change context back to the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Being a native English speaker doesn't help with Dwarven names. That's that's true. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm neither neither a native English speaker nor am I a dwarf, and um, I think being a Khajiit, being a cat, even doesn't doesn't help even. So, but we are on our way. Mouse, please. Thank you. To Inchulafting. This this one actually rolls off of the tongue very good. Um, in order to f at least uh, what we want to do is we want to find that excavation report for our friend Edwina back at the Mages Guild because we are striving to, be to become one of the best mages. Oh, come on, I'm not going to waste my magic on, on a mere rat. Of course I need to heal anyway. <laughs> There we go. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, that call was pretty delightful. Very, very nice woman on the phone. This is something that I love. I actually already thought that he would come. I don't suppose that I'm going that way. I'm, I suppose I'm going kind of that way. So I'm going to follow the this path a bit more. So I think I was talking about something, 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 uh, mumble, mumble, alchemy, <laughs> which I plan to, as I, as I already mentioned, which I plan to um, pick up again at some point in time. This is the other entrance to Balmora. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go to Molagmar. And I think I'm first going to actually go into the town of Molagmar. Oh, this is actually pretty, pretty nice. Look at that. Don't fall inside. Don't fall into the lava. You're not staff from userfriendly.org. This looks like some ancient tomb. Okay, this was not the enemy which caused the attack music. This is the enemy which caused the attack music. I kind of like this... this lava pool here, to be honest. So I'm going to head along this road and first... And our athletic skill increased. We need. Because then I don't need to worry if, if I pick up the alchemy things. Um, picking up meaning picking up doing alchemy again. And I, I tried it in this playthrough for the first time. And it felt very tedious. Mainly because of the bad UI. So in, in, in later games you select an ingredient. You thus selecting an effect and the ingredients get automatically filtered by that effect that you already selected or you can just select an effect and it filters by it here you need to go through the whole list or memorize what has which effect so what i'm actually planning to do is i'm not going to use a guide because i'm i plan to figure out that stuff for myself to be honest because part of what I liked about this game is, is exactly this kind of exploration. So what I'm going to do is firstly check what this place is, just what it's called. It's Miss Samzy. This might actually be a thieves den, so we might actually be... Usually these are thieves dens. So let me just drop a quick save and then head inside and check out what there in, awaits us inside. Oh, look at this. These are very durable. Okay. A Copra Stalker. Uh, no, I don't want to get Copra's disease. Thank you very much. This is an unhealable sickness. I'm not going to get that. No, no, no. And our destruction skill increased, which means the more enemies. The chance that our spells fire off are higher. Chance, chances are higher. Constantly expecting being attacked. And there's the attack that I was waiting for. That's the thing with the cliff racers. I never see them until they until they actually do attack. Uh, that was the button I wanted to press. Oh, come on. I was just sipping a little bit of cola. Well, anywho. Um, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, to, 
to rest every other spell that them. I mean, I could use the weaker spell, but it doesn't kill the enemies. But this feels very power gamey, to be honest. But for now, it also feels like the only way to, to play this game. And I think I'm walking in the wrong, wrong-ish direction. Shouldn't I be somewhere down there, walking in this direction? So let's try to get down there and walk in this direction. We want to go north and then east. So whenever I'm starting to talk about that alchemy thing that I planned, <laughs> something happens. Okay. Yeah. Learning everything for myself. And the thing that I actually did plan and that I wanted to say is I did plan to create some kind of alchemy book. Like hard copy, like a real piece of paper where I write down this and that ingredient equals this and that potion. Okay, this is, I think, the lava pool that I was before. So I guess I should have gone there. That away. Then we can also check what kind of ancestral. This, this I think, from the style is an ancestral tomb. And I'm not going to enter ancestral tomb. I'm not a grave robber. Yes, unless I'm being sent there. But since there is no temple for Boron, the um, God of Sleep and Death from the Dark Eye, which is my favorite pen and paper role-playing game, apart from the Black Cat, which is a spin-off of the Dark Eye. There we go. And if you haven't heard of that, it's most probably because you're not German, uh, because it's... Uh, let's, let's just have that say there. Because the Dark Eye is mainly a German role-playing game called Die Schwarze Katze, although they do have translated the stuff to English and it is available for sale in the English-speaking regions, mainly the US, of course. Well, basically books, since books can be shipped worldwide, you can buy them anywhere in the world. Will you come down? I want to attack you. I don't have any magic. Thank you very much. Ah, okay. I told the game to automatically select the best attack for me, so I basically can just spam the attack button. And do this until healed. By the way, some little mechanics have, are different than from vanilla Minecraft, not due to actual mods. In my opinion, mods are official mod files, which are loaded through the modding system. But the game has actually been patched by a tool that aims to re remove some things that seem like unintentional, like, like bugs. They, they are not specifically bugs, but they seem like they were they were not intended by the uh, by the developers, and so some game mechanics have been changed to rebalance the game to make things that should be harder a little bit harder and vice versa. And I'm also playing. I think I'm playing on the easiest difficulty level because I'm cheap like that. Just playing on the easiest difficulty level. Come on, fall down, thank you. There we go, and of course it is windy again. Yeah, that looks more like where we need to go. That said, since I found out that alchemy is so tedious, to use. Is this really a way? Yes, it seems like it. I decided to do, do all these outside of the Let's Play, which means only the people watching the streams will actually get the uh, most of the alchemy stuff. 
and um, I hope this was the last time I'm rambling about that topic. Yeah. He said and rambled on for 15 more minutes. I think that was another way. I'm. I think I just walked right over the mountain. Well, being a kitty cat, this is not unexpected. I'd say. This looks more pathy now. So I'm going to follow this. It, it does lead in the right direction for now. We are in a fight. There we are. Man, these ash storms. Or even even if they are sandstorms. No. no like. Kitty no like. for now. stuff. Sadly it's the last bottle, which means we need to get another case. Now I, I heard that name before. Do I have a P? Nope. <laughs> but I do have the pants. That's from that quest where I think it was Al Veloti uh, or Veloti where that guy stole the pants off of that other guy. And we need some kind of charming spell to get him to or to convince him to release gotcha. <laughs> release the pants or give him back. Yeah, in my in my mind in my um, mind it's like the picture that I see is gotcha. he's holding the pants captive, so release it is the perfect word. Although there is no ransom involved. But who wants a swearing clown anyway? And yes, this is also a game that I'm going to play. But uh, when I play this, which of course is Thimbleweed Park, I'm going to... Uh, I'm not walking back and forth. Okay. Uh, if I'm going to play Thimbleweed Park, I'm going to do it in a way... So people can interact with me. So I will either do a thing where I have people in a voice chat over on Discord. Of course, providing these all these people are okay with being recorded in the actual Let's Play. Uh, and people on the... That was dumb. Um, people on the Let's Play in the chat helping me out. Like being able to say um, hey try this and to try that so I can actually do things even if I get stuck I don't need to stop recording and wait for a few days to get new inspiration um, or just check a solution this by the way is why I usually play games that I've completed before or at least played far enough to feel comfortable um, because to be honest I've got a very high no very low frustration level 
So when I don't get to progress further, I actually get frustrated very quickly. And then I don't want to play anymore. And this is not not a good recipe for a let's play video. Yep, that seems it seems like we're going like that way. Down here, then through this. I don't know how you call it, chasm or how you call it. But it looks like this is a mountain, this is a mountain, and we're going through this thing in between. I think that's what they call the Foyada in, in, in Morrowind. I've never heard this word in real life before. Although it does sound Spanish. At least the way I pronounce it. Which might also be um, a result from me start to, having started to learn Spanish um, the beginning of this year, although I have very much neglected the duty of learning. Duo from Duolingo is not happy with me. He, he misses me very much. He tells me every day. Well, let's see. It's very misty. This could be England. True story, when I went to England for the first time, it was for a convention called the Confuzzled in 2018. And I went there, so I'm, as, I, as I'm assuming this is the way to go, I'm just following the roads that lead that way. Um, conf to Confuzzled, which is in Birmingham. Ouch. This was a very strong effect. Next time I should pause the game and check what the effect actually does. It is a destruction spell though. Um, I guess it's damage half. So, and I'm still in combat. I went to Confuzzled in, in Birmingham. And as you might know, the typical image that um, we, at least we Germans have from the UK is that it's always foggy there or rainy if it's not foggy so I went there and you won't believe it the Sun shone and I came there and said oh I'm, I'm very disappointed I'm very very disappointed um, because it doesn't rain so let us for the map. I first want to go to Mulatmara. I first want to go to the um, to the town actually. Rest until healed. My first look is up there. Is there a cliff racer? They are pretty annoying, I tell you. We've got the blight disease. I can't have the blight disease spreading, so. your final warning. Stop being so tasty, even though you're diseased. Okay, there's no signpost here. Where should I go? Well, this way leads into lava, so I'm going to go this way. Although lava is warm, and cats love it warm, I think this is actually too hot. So it might also be that way. We shall see. 
You might also be just hopelessly lost. At least we have some nice scenery to look at. This planned area of nature. What's can I interact with this? Yes. Steaming lava went large. No. It shows me what it is, but when I press the use button, nothing happens. I might be able to use an item there. Because why else would it be highlighted? I think we have encountered one of the infamous crashes to desktop. Well, for all of those on YouTube, I'm going to end the episode here, restart the game, and hopefully it won't crash again when I get to that place. So on YouTube, we will see each other once I'm roughly where I was before. And for all the others, well, you need to bear with me recovering. So, bye-bye.